We are now uh, in the border between uh, Sabi Game Park and Kruger National Park. We're driving in the southern section. We're looking for a, a clan of hyena that we know that historically uh, utilizes this area. We're going to look for tracks now. My role here is helping with the hyena translocation. Uh, I have been pre-baiting and baiting, basically just to get the hyena to be comfortable around the vehicles while they're feeding on the bait, which makes your job a little bit easier. So basically we're preparing a bait site, a bait station. We're going to tie the bait to this tree. And if the hyena come, they're going to be on that side darting. And so we're putting a fence with brush on that other side because we want to avoid that the hyena eat facing us because that's what they'll do. If they see the vehicle, they, wanna, they will want to stay like this and facing the vehicle while eating. So by doing this, be obliged to come and feed like that and have their muscles towards us so we have good dart sites. Leon was uh, dragging some uh, stomach contents. If the hyena are walking in those areas, they pick up the smell and they come and see what it is and then they find the bait. Uh, we're uh, driving to one of the bait stations where the hyena have been coming every night for the past three nights, uh, a clan of uh, between seven and nine anim animals. So we're gonna start calling uh, with a pig squill and put a new bait there on the, that same tree and hopefully the animals will come and we'll be able to dart them, load them onto a vehicle and take them to the Karingani Boma, which is going to be the first phase of the whole um, hyena reintroduction, translocation um, project. These are what we are going to use uh, as blindfolds to reduce visual stimulus and we, it will allow us to have the animals more sedated. Okay, let's go. 